Hello, good evening, guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, Grecia. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm very good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Hello, Caro. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. I like your glasses. Thank you. They're very nice. You look very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Caro. Hello, Consa. How are you today? I'm great. Yes. You look sleepy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gonza. Um, let's see. Tati. Hello, Tati. Are you there? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you, Tati? I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Very good to know. Very good to know. Uh, Mr. Daniel Alexander. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you, teacher? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Good to know. Very good. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Very good. Very good, my friend. Thank you for asking. Hi, Rene. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yolanda, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Más o menos. What happened? Are you sick? Sí. Oh, I'm sorry to know that. Okay, very good. Mr. Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey's not here. Jefferson. Jefferson, hello, how are you, Jefferson? I'm fine, teacher. Good to know, good to know, very good. Karina, hello, how are you? I think hello, you're here. teacher. Hi, I'm Karina. Fine. And you? Very good, Sorry, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent, excellent, thank you. Hello, Natalie, how are you? I think Natalie's not here. Uh, ok, guys, so creo que tengo pendiente a Yolanda y a Carolina de la actividad de ayer. No sé si están listas para, para hacerla. Sí, teacher. Ahorita me okay. presentaría la compañera. Ok, go ahead, please. Ok. Uh, hi, what's our dinner plan for tonight? I was thinking of trying food, a special recipe, creamy garlic, parmesan, syrup, pasta. It's simple and tasty. Sounds amazing. What ingredients do we need? Well, need linguine pasta, shrimp, butter, garlic, half cream, parmesan, parmesan cheese, cherry, tomato, spinach, salt, and pepper. Great. How do we... How do we start? First, boil the linguine yunt al dente. While that's cooking, salt means garlic in butter until it's fragrant. What's the what's next? Add the syrup to the garlic butter and cook until the turn pink. Then remove the syrup from the pan. Interesting. What the next step? Put the heavy cream in the fried pan and break it to gentle simmer. Still in the Parmesan cheese until it's melted and the sauce is cream. Nice, and then? Toast in half cherry tomatoes and fresh spinach. Cook until the tomatoes soften and the spinach wheels. These sound delicious. What about the shrimps? Add the cooked syrup back into the pan, season with salt and pepper, and let it all simmer together. I can't wait to try it. Anything else? Drain the cooked linguine and toss it into the cream syrup mixture. Make sure the pass is well wet with the sauce. It's a complete meal. How shall we serve it? 
gram gramish with a bit more parmesan and some chopped parsley for a fresh touch. And there are, you have a creamy garlic parmesan chip pasta for two. Thanks for the tail instruction. Let's get a started. Okay, that was a very, very complete conversation, girls. Very good job, Yolanda and, and Carolina. Very complete receipt. Excellent. I really like the very good job, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing your screen, eh, Yolanda. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, oh, my God. Hold on. I think Gonza and Fatima were pending too, but I don't see Fatima. I think she's still sick, so you can pass tomorrow, uh, Gonzalo, not a problem. Okay. Okay, my friends. Okay, okay. So uh, let's see. Today, as I mentioned, we will have practice day for you to get ready for tomorrow's evaluation. Remember that we have evaluations, what is today? Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, the final oral evaluation. And the final oral evaluation is an interview, interview with me, just with me, not with the classmates, not with anybody else, just you and me in the interview. So right now on WhatsApp, I am going to send some pictures. And where is the group? 96. Okay. So I just sent some conversations questions to WhatsApp. And I want to show you. These are the pictures that you will see. Conversation question one, this is really easy. Really, really easy, okay? This is just like about the bird to be basic questions. I'm gonna give it just like 10 minutes to practice this. Then we're going to have a quick uh, grammar game. Then we're gonna go to the second section of questions, which are the questions in simple present. For these questions, we are going to need a little bit more of time, okay? For example, what do you do in your free time? For me, a decent and good answer is six or seven lines, okay? Teacher, in my free time, I normally watch TV. I am actually watching a series that is called, uh, I don't know, Grey's Anatomy because I like medicine. Uh, sometimes I draw because I really love drawing. And also I play basketball because it's my favorite sport. And that's it. That is a very good and complete answer for one question, for example. You have some questions over there that you can practice with your classmates. After this section, we're going to have another break for another activity. Then we will go with how often questions. These questions are quick, very easy. How often do you eat junk food? I eat junk food twice a week. Boom. How often do you travel? I never travel. Boom. Very quick, just like 10 minutes for these questions. Then we have the last set of questions, which are present continuous, present continuous questions. What do you think the president is doing at this moment? Um, probably the president is having meetings with his team because he's making important decisions for the country or maybe he is playing with his uh, newborn daughter, etc. Remember that this is not certain because you don't really know what the other person is doing, right? But you have four different type of set of sections for the practice questions. Lo que vamos a hacer es que tienen esas preguntas, los voy a estar poniendo en grupos por ciertos intervalos de tiempo, Cuando regresemos todos a la main session, voy a agarrar a unas cuantas personas para preguntarle lo que estuvieron practicando, dar feedback, hacer alguna actividad para que pues tampoco nos aburramos de la práctica. Luego otra vez en práctica para practicar, valga la redundancia, el otro set de questions que tenemos y así hasta que cumplamos el tiempo de hoy, que recuerden que ahora vamos a terminar a las seis. Así que quiero saber si antes de empezar alguien tiene alguna duda de cómo vamos a proceder hoy.
o no sé si tienen preguntas de la evaluación, de la interview. No, yo tengo una pregunta, pero respecto a la plataforma. Ok. Por ejemplo, ahora terminé la unidad, creería yo, 3 y 4. Entonces, ¿tenemos hasta jueves 30 para terminar todas las unidades? ¿O yes. era la 3 y 4? No, eh, la, todas las unidades es el 30 antes de la clase. Faltaría... Eh, cuatro, las 5. Las, solamente las 5. Ya, yeah, porque son cinco unidades en todo el módulo. Entonces, si ahí son las tres y las cuatro, entonces solo debe terminar las cinco, que es la gracias. última. Ok, gracias. Let me see you. how we're doing with the progress. This is basic 2, 4 p.m. Users in progress. Um, ok. Ok, Padilla Contreras, Jos Padilla Contreras. Yo. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Complete a buyer meeting. Let me show you. Let me show you. Así se ve la platform desde mi lado. Okay. Ya varios van bastante avanzados. Los que van menos de 50 o 60, porfa, metanla porque básicamente es el jueves tenemos para terminarlo. Estas personas, creo que tengo a González Mora, creo que es Clara o Carla. Carla Vigail, if I'm not mistaken. Le falta el examen de la unión y cinco, si no me equivoco. Ingrid, también le falta el examen. Tengo a Carla Gabriela, que también le falta el examen. De mí sí, ya Gonzalo terminó, porque le tiene que aparecer así, mire, complete. It. Si a usted le aparece un 98 o un 99, quiere decir que algo no ha hecho. Puede que sea un video, un quiz que no pasó, o algo, pero es algo que todavía falta y que hay que completarlo pues, para poder avanzar. Pero su plataforma se tiene que ver así, mire, completed y que le aparezca el porcentaje de 100% para que le dé su diploma. Si está en 99, no nos sirve. Y si por alguna razón le aparece en 99, avíseme para yo ver qué es lo que le hace falta y que vaya a esa parte específicamente a hacer lo que, cualquier tema que le haga falta. ¿Ok? ¿Any other questions about the platform? Yes, Jefferson. Uh, yo ya terminé, pero siempre me aparece en 99. Mm. Let me see your last names. Es que a veces caso? cuando uno hace el examen, teacher, este aparece, porque alguna las tiene mal, aparece el 83 y quizás uno tiene que pasarlo al 100 para que llegue al... esté completo. Espérame, ya le digo. Ah, vaya, le voy a poner el ejemplo... De Jefferson, para explicarles de lo que estoy hablando. Este es el progreso de Jefferson. ¿Ven este cuadrito? Sí. Ok. Yes. Esto tiene que aparecerle a usted en cada contenido. Y Jefferson, donde no tiene eso, es aquí, miren. En esta conversation. Así que Jefferson en la unidad 3. Unit 3. En esta actividad. Cousins visit, esa conversation, no sé si es un ejercicio o es solo una conversación, métase ahí y le dan en el botoncito de complete and continue. Porque okay. así es que le va a aparecer completo, porque de ahí todo ya lo aparece. ¿Ven? El examen, los quizzes, everything. Everything is complete y a veces cuando aparece 9.9, a esto me refiero. Es porque hay algún contenido que se nos pasó a darle complete and continue o quizás por inter no lo guardó, anything, pero... Si llegan a terminar todos los exámenes, todos los quizzes y sigue con 9.9, just tell me. Dígame para yo ver qué es lo que les hace falta específicamente y que solo lo vayan a completar. ¿Ok? Ok, okay. very good. Y sí, los exámenes cuando, creo que se, si no me equivoco, la nota, mínica, la nota mínima para quizzes y exámenes es de 8 o 8.5. I don't remember. Pero si no se sacan eso, los va a mandar a que lo, repita otra, lo, que lo, a que lo repitan otra vez. Así que no se extrañen si, digamos, en algún quiz fallaron, les da el chance de repetirlo porque no les guarda el progreso hasta que no pasan ese quiz o ese examen. ¿Ok? Eh, very good, very good, my friends. Any other questions that you have before we move? No questions? Ok, very good. Dijo que se fue esta nota. Antes de la clase, sí, antes de las cuatro, please. Porque yo el jueves, jueves 30, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. 
Sí, ok, Thursday. Jueves, cuando terminamos la clase, yo sus notas y su asistencia ya lo tengo que dejar subido, pues para que eso se mande Insafor, porque el reporte se manda los días que terminan eh, los grupos. Y yo tengo que dejar todo ya básicamente listo. ¿Qué pasa si usted a la hora de que le toque su entrevista o de que yo termine la clase, pues no está ese, ese, ese récord? Pues se va a ir así como lo tenga. Si digamos a las cuatro ese día usted no tiene sus exámenes. Sí, pajarito, hoy es 28. Ya yes, terminamos el 30. O sea, jueves. Entonces, si no terminan a tiempo, entonces el score les va a quedar pues en realidad como lo tiene. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso les pido que por fe el jueves antes de la clase, antes de las cuatro, puedan terminar eso. ¿Ok? Eh, I'm going to open the rooms now. This is the practice room for section number one. La primera sección de preguntas es la de what is your full name? How old are you? What's your favorite color? Las del verb to be. Okay. So I'm going to give you like 10 minutes with that because it's very short. Quiero que por favor en los grupos, let's practice. This is the time where you can practice. No quiero meterme en los grupos y que estén en silencio porque de todas formas el pues el mal no se lo van a hacer, no me lo hacen a mí, se lo hacen a ustedes, al no practicar. Que si están fáciles, that's okay. Práctica nunca está de más, no importa si sabemos o no sabemos, para pronunciation o para mejorar, siempre nos sirve la práctica. So, I'm going to be opening the breakout rooms. Please do me the favor to eh, accept. Give me one second. Three per people. Okay. Please accept the invites, guys.
Teacher. Tommy. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my favorite place. Yo pues iba a poner un lugar, no sé si ustedes lo conocen, pero se llama Palmeras Skate Ranch. Entonces mm -hmm. la pregunta es, ¿lo menciono tal cual Palmeras o yeah. Palm Trees? No, así tal cual, because it's a proper name. Y los proper names sí okay. se quedan tal cual. Sí, ok. okay. Gracias. Ok. Solo usted y Ingrid están practicando, Diego, o who's practicing? No, todos, todos. Oh, okay, but I de see hecho, the rest in Alejandro está compartiendo pantalla. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay, but uh, I would like to hear the the conversation, guys, speaking. Sí, es que ahorita los estamos respondiendo, Ticha. Por eso. Oh yeah, but este tiempo aprovechémoslo para hacer el speaking, okay? No okay. los, no es necesario okay. la, la respuesta en el cuaderno. Necesito que practiquen su speaking. Ya que pues el día de mañana es lo que se va a empezar a evaluar, obviamente. Si el, el quiere, set. le pregunto okay. a alguien yo ahorita. Sí, lo sí, que hagamos sí. es, durante las preguntas. Eh, por ejemplo, vale. Ingrid le pregunta a Diego, Diego, what's your full name? My full name, bla, bla, bla. Luego a Alejandro, luego a Vitia. Y luego Vitia le puede preguntar a Ingrid, que fue la, la persona que preguntó inicialmente. Ya cuando termine la número uno, van con la número dos y así, hasta que todos contestemos todo. All right? Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay, José. José, ¿está por ahí? José, hello. Hola, hola. Bueno, no sé si... Bueno, entonces usted es... Soy Diego. Diego. Bueno, Diego. Pero también what... me llamo José. <laughs> what is your full name? My full name is Diego Jose Morales Montano. How old are you? Mm, sería para otra persona, pero... Eh... Sí, podemos como... Digamos, Diego ahora le pregunta a mí, por ejemplo, a... Yolanda. Hola, Diego. Pregunta, Diego. Ok. Um, how old are you, Alejandro? I am 20 years old. Ok. Eh, ahora yo a Yolanda, ¿verdad? Mm. Eh, Yolanda, what is your favorite color? My favorite color are green and purple. Y yo voy con Ingrid, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ok, well, Ingrid, what is your favorite color? How old are you? I'm 18 years old. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What is your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place in El Salvador is a Cuarepeque Lake. What is your mother's, father's, brother's, or sister's name? My mother's name is uh, Mariana Marquez. How is your mom, dad, brother, or sister? My mom is uh, 15 years old. <laughs> What is your mother, father, brother, sister's favorite color? My mother's favorite color is uh, white, I think. What is your mother's, father's, brother's, sister's favorite food? My mother's favorite food is uh, sopa de tortilla. Tortilla soap. <laughs> um, yeah. Continuamos con los otros. Eh, ahí está. Si quieres hacer, empezar. Vaya, te pregunto yo ahora vos. Dale. Vaya, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, 
I love watch Grey's Anatomy. Okay. What do you do? I love for... to watch. Sorry, sorry, I love yeah. to watch. Y acuérdense que yeah. para estas preguntas de simple present, un mínimo de seis oraciones, cinco o seis oraciones para responder. Okay. Como, o sea, por, tenemos que como justificar lo que respondemos en cinco o seis oraciones. No justificar, o sea, dar una pregunta, una respuesta completa, porque una respuesta de una oración no es una respuesta eh, completa para un, ya un estudiante basic two. Mm. Eh, what do you do for your birthday? In my birthday, I get up early in the morning. I love to listen happy birthday song. I I eat I eat cake with Bueno, si quieres seguir está Jefferson. Bueno. Sí, quería How old are you? How old are you? Twenty-eight year old. How old are you? Uh, I am twenty twenty-four year old. Okay. La tercera. Disculpen, me pueden escuchar. Hola. Ya la Hola. cena de Natalia. Sí. Ah, vaya. Entonces, si quieren, empezamos de, re... de nuevo. Eh, eh, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, donde dice, where, where is your mother? Dale, father, brother, sister. Es que todo, de todos lo vamos a preguntar. No, no, solo escoja uno. Como... Uno. What's your father's name? What's okay. your brother's name? Ajá, solo uno. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Envíe okay. otra foto. De la segunda conversación. Sí. De la segunda ronda de preguntas. Ajá, porque ya hicimos okay. una, ¿no? Sí. La segunda, ¿cuál era? En simple person, ¿no? Creo, no sé. <coughs> Ahorita no sé. Present. Creo que es eso. What do you do in your free time? Ah, sí, ahí está. Ok, Telma. What do you do in your free time? Um, I sometimes... Bueno, I usually... Uh, I usually do, I usually watch TV and the more time I read the books and the general is real novels and I don't know, but I, I like uh, uh, <laughs> uh, gay romance and, <laughs> and uh, sometimes uh, uh, watching anime in my cell phone uh, yeah, only I am a boring person <laughs> and what about you Tati? Mm, I, I always practice football and go to the gym and I like watching TV and it's a cell telephone, <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, Karina, what what do you do? What do you do doing in your free time? Okay, in, in my free time, I usually go to the gym because exercise relaxes me. Also, I I sometimes listen to music. I prefer to listen salsa or old reggaeton. Um, 
Oh, also, I often watch series, series or movies with my friends or alone as well. Only that. Yeah. Is okay, so what How do you do so? for your birthday? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's like other day, but sometimes uh, in my family and I, um, we are, uh, my family and I are eating cake. Okay, guys, so let's, let me see, let me pull the first section of questions. Okay, I'm going to start sharing and I want to ask, uh, let me see, Carla Gabriela. Okay, Carla, tell me what is your full name? My full name is Carla Gabriela Clara Flores. How old are you? <clears throat> I am 28 years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Okay. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black and white. Okay. If we talk about two colors, Carla, we say R. Okay, because it's plural. My favorite colors are. R. What about your favorite food? What's your favorite food? My favorite food uh, um, hamburgers. Are hamburgers. Are hamburgers. Very good. What is your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place are mountains. Mountains. Very good. Can you tell me what is your best friend's name? My best friend's name. Um, go to the beach. Okay, listen to my question. What is your best friend's name? Ah, uh, name, pardon. Is a uh, name is uh, Monica. Monica, okay, very good. Yeah. How old is Monica? Uh, 29 years old. 29 years old. Okay, very good. What is Monica's favorite color? His favorite color is um, black. Her favorite color is black. Okay. Yes. And what about her favorite food? What is Monica's favorite food? Um, favorite food is... Uh, sushi. Sushi. Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. Thank you, Carla. Very good. Uh, Mr. Jose Daniel, tell me what is your full name? My full name is Jose Daniel Pedro Marquez. Very good. How old are you, uh, Daniel? I'm 18. Okay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay, what's your favorite place in the country? My favorite place in El Salvador is uh, Cuatepec Lake. Okay, very good. Tell me what is your favorite singer's name? 
my favorite singer's name mm -hmm. is uh, Tyler the Creator. Okay, how old is your favorite singer? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, very five. Okay, very good. Can you tell me what is your mom's favorite color? My mom's favorite color is white. Very good. And what's your mom's favorite food? My mom's favorite food is uh, lasagna and okay. tortilla soup. Oh, okay. Our, our lasagna and tortilla soup. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Kaori, tell me what is your full name? Uh, my full name is Kaori Michel Sanchez Hernandez. Okay, how old are you, Kaori? I'm 21 years old. Very good. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color are blue and white. Okay, what about your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food are uh, tacos. Tacos, okay, excellent. What is your favorite place in our country? My favorite place in the Salvador is beach. The beach, okay. Uh, can you tell me what is your best friend's name? Uh, my best friend's name is Daniela. Okay, how old is Daniela? Uh, she's 21 years old. 21, okay, and what is her favorite color? Uh, her favorite color is purple. Purple, very good. What about her favorite food? Uh, her favorite food is, no, sorry, uh, are tacos. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Kaori. Let's go with Jefferson. Jefferson, tell me what is your full name? Uh, my full name is Jefferson Omar Santos Castro. Okay, how old are you? I am 24 years old. Okay, very good. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Okay, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken. Okay, what's your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place in El Salvador is beach. The beach. The beach. Very good. Uh, tell me, what is your best friend's name? Oh, Manuel. Okay, how old is Manuel? Uh, her... He is. Remember, the H is with he, the verb to be. He, he is. He is 20, 23 years old. Years. Years old. Yeah, year, year old. Okay, 23 years old. Can you tell me what is Manuel's favorite color? Uh, her her thin, thin favorite color is uh, purple. 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 Remember that the possessive adjective is his. His favorite color. His. Okay. Okay. And what about his favorite food? What is Manuel's favorite food? Uh, his favorite food is uh, spaghetti or pasta. Theory. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can say pasta. Very good. Okay, thank you, Jefferson. Excellent, guys. Very good job. These questions are really uh, very, very easy. Now we're going to do a quick listening exercise. This listening exercise is about uh, providing information. You're going to list them the information and we are going to select yes, no, or no information in case the information was not given, was not mentioned, okay? So let me go with audio number one. This is part number one. I'm gonna play it. Please confirm if you can listen. About my brother? 
Do you listen? Yes? Okay. Very good. So let me play it. Everybody please mute and let's pay attention. Uh, okay. Tell me about your brother. Everything about my brother? Well, is he single? Yes, he's single. That's nice. Is he handsome? No, he's not handsome, but he is tall. Do you like tall men? Sure, tall is good. How about his hair? His hair. He has curly hair. Oh, curly hair is nice. So, do you want to meet him? Sure, you can introduce us sometime. Did you get all of the information or should I play it one more time? One more time. Okay, okay. That's fine. Let me mute everybody and please pay attention for second audio. Tell me about your brother. Everything about my brother? Well, is he single? Yes, he's single. That's nice. Is he handsome? No, he's not handsome. But he is tall. Do you like tall men? Sure. Tall is good. How about his hair? His hair. He has curly hair. Oh, curly hair is nice. So, do you want to meet him? Sure. You can introduce us sometime. Okay, very good. Tell Number me about one. your brother. Number one, is the woman's brother married? Yes, no, or no information? No. No, no, okay. Is the woman's brother handsome? Yes, no, or no information? No. no. Okay, is the woman's brother tall? Yes. yes. Does the woman's brother have curly hair? Yes. 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 Does the woman's brother have brown hair? No, no information. No. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's go with part number two. Listen to the conversation and choose the correct answer. Let me play it. Everybody, please mute your microphones. Okay. Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm a chef now. I really like it. The food, the kitchen, it's interesting. How nice. And how is your wife? Sally? She's fine. She's a banker. I know. I see her at the bank sometimes. And you? Is your job interesting? Sure. I'm a teacher, so it's always interesting. You're probably a very good teacher. And how about your husband, the doctor? My husband? He's not a doctor. He's an engineer. He works at Ace Engineering. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, one more time, or we got all of the answers now? No. One more time. I got it. Oh, we got it. Okay. What is the man's why the man's wife's job? She's a banker. She's a banker. Okay. What is a woman's job? He's a, a teacher. teacher. A teacher. Sure. Very good. And what is a woman's husband's job? He's an he engineer. Is an engineer. He's an engineer. engineer. Very good. Okay. And this is the last part. It says, listen to the conversation, then fill in each blank with the correct word. So you will tell me what is the correct option in these four sentences. Let's listen with number one. Hi, my name is Carlo. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I'm Miho. Where are you from, Miho? I'm from Japan. Oh, from Japan. Is that a big country? No, it's a small country. Where are you from, Carlo? I'm from Argentina. Oh, in South America. Is Argentina a beautiful country? Yes, it is a beautiful country. Okay. Migo is from China or from Japan, guys? Japan. 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 Okay. Japan. Migo's country is wet or dry? Dry. Dry? Okay. Carlo is from Argentina or Chile? Argentina. Argentina. Okay. 
Argentina. Carlos, country is big or small? Big. 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 Very good. Okay, let's take a look to the answers. Check the answers and, well, in this case was wet, I think. And we only got one mistake. Very good job, guys, excellent. Okay, good. So now we already practice section one. Escuché que algunos ya estaban con la second section, que es la sección del simple present. With simple present, um, I want to give you an instruction. Cuando nosotros brindamos una respuesta, in my case, my way of evaluation is that you provide a complete answer. Complete answer for me is five to six sentences, okay? So in each of the questions, we have what do you do in your free time, what do you do for your birthday, Christmas, vacations, etc. Y si a ustedes se les ocurre más, you can practice. The more you practice, the better your interview will be. So, para esta sección del simple present, recuerden la mecánica, si son tres personas en el grupo, empiezan todos con la pregunta número uno, what do you do in your free time? Tendrían que dar una respuesta de six sentences, todos los miembros del grupo, no solo uno, ¿ok? Then, when you finish question one, you go to question two. No es que va a ser una pregunta cada uno, es que todos practiquen todo, ¿ok? I'm going to put you again in groups. Por favor, sigamos la indicación en let's practice section two of questions, que son las questions del simple present. Please, let's follow the simple present rules with the third person, okay? I'm going to open the rooms. Please, let's get to practice. Hola, teacher. Hi, Caro.
my birthday i wake up early in the morning i like listen happy birthday son i eat cake with my family and like the all they all sing sing me or can them for me no sé. and what about you tatiana what do you do for your birthday uh, we go out to my family i eating white tea i mean see white my family and i get a cake <laughs> Te pregunté, Kaori. What do you do? Sorry, cake. That's a pronunciation of pastel. Solo cake. Solo cake? Yes, oh, cake. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ka Kaori. Computer or, or I reading a book, uh, be a novice. I don't know, but I I love um, be a novice. A, a romance gay yeah. only and a quien le faltaba a mi ok and what do you do in your free time uh, in my free time I love watch to I watch movies and I and I go to the work in the street and I read a book and only that. Okay. Ingrid. Ingrid, what, what do you do for for your birthday? Um, I have a little party with my family. Usually. Usually, I have a little party with family. Okay, uh, Thelma, what do you do for your birthday? Uh, I I never do sing in my birthday, but I sometimes um, my family and I or uh, or eat a cake, but. I think no, not it is special my birthday, um, and I never do uh, especially um, only. And I I watch videos, English videos, and I read. English books. Um, uh, I watch movies in English and I listen to music in English. Uh, what do your classmates do during the class? Espérame, espérame, Eh, ¿Alguien más que quiera responder?
Karina, eh, René, are you there, guys? Sí, sí, yo aquí acabo de entrar. No hablaba por eso. Okay, uh, Daniel, I think Jose Daniel, you were asking the question. What was the question? Que le haga la pregunta a otro compañero. Eh, sí, ¿cuál era la pregunta que estaba, que estaba haciendo? Este, espérame. Es, what do your classmates do during the class? Ok, Mr. René, go ahead. Teacher, I don't, I don't understand the equation. Oh, ok, um, the question is, what do your classmates, acuérdese que classmates son los compañeros, right? What do they do in the class? For example, my classmates eh, pay attention in the class, also they practice in English, and they do quizzes during the class. On the other hand, they complete exercises that the teacher provides, and they, they watch videos, they do listening activities. ¿Qué es lo que sus compañeros hacen en la clase? That's the question. Oh, okay, ya, ya entendí. Solo que teacher ahorita no puedo contestar que tengo mi sobrino que está llorando. No sé si puede alguien contestar mientras okay, se los silencio. demás Perdón. ya participaron. The rest? Eh, yo solo he preguntado. No, estábamos con el primero. Oh, ok. Sí, con, so, a Daniel ahora eh, le estamos preguntando. Ok, so, Dani, o sea, Daniel, sorry, you can ask Karina, then Karina, you can ask Daniel. Ok. Es Iván, ok. Sí. Eh, Karina, what do you do? Mate. Solo, solo es class normal, mate. Class Lo demás mate. estaba bien. Ok, class mate. Ajá. Dale. Eh, sigo yo preguntando, ¿verdad? ¿O ¿Quién iba? Sí, tú vas. Ok. What does your best friend do during the weekend? Mm, he always play basketball with his team. Uh, my my best friend. Uh, I always I always go go junior university. Ok. Eh, Gonza, Gonza, una pregunta. La tuya era... He... Ajá. He plays. Lo demás. Oh, no, so, simplemente he always play. He always play. Yes. Ok, 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 ok. Eh, sigue Jefferson preguntando, ¿verdad? Uh, what does the president do on a regular day? A regular day. <coughs> uh, normally makes a security planes per day ah sorry sorry a uh, safety plan. Ok. Eh, ahora, ahora la siguiente sería. What do you do on vacation, Carla? I go to the Metalio Beach. I read a book. 
I visit my sister in San Salvador. ¿A qué parte de Metalío ha ido? Eh, pues he ido a un lugar que se llama, que es del Magisterial. No sé qué parte. De... Y es bonito. Eh, sí, es bonito. Ok. Es bonito. It's very beautiful. Ok. <laughs> um, Carol, what do you do on vacation? On vacation. Uh, on vacation, I decide to my my grandparents. Um, I go to the beach. Beach. I um. I go to the lake. I. Uh, go with my friends to a restaurant um, Alejandro uh, what do you do on vacation on vacation okay I'm going to the beach I go to the mountain and I visit my friends and I visit my grandparents. Um, Carla Areli, what do you do on vacation? I visit the beach, I go to the park. We all visit the mountain. Eh, yeah. Carolina, what do you do on vacations? Yo ya respondí a esa pregunta. Ah. Creo que ya todos la respondimos. Sí, bueno. La siguiente. Sigo con la otra. Mm -hmm. What do you do to improve your English? Your English. I, I uh, review the classes. I take note of the classes, I do vocabulary, I listen to audios, I do translation of some text. Alejandro, uh, what do you do to improve, improve your English? Okay, um, I watch series in English, I listen to music in English, um, I practice verbs. Uh, I practice grammar every day. Um, Carla Abigail, por favor. Sí. Uh, Carla Abigail, what do you do to improve your English? Um, I watch videos on YouTube. I have to uh, study more. I have to practice. Um, What do your classmates do during the class, Carla? Fal falta Carla.
Okay, very good. So we're all back, guys. Thank you so much for practice practicing. And let me start with, let's see, Kaori. Kaori, tell us what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like watch uh, movies with my friends or series. Um, I like uh, swim. Um, sometimes I like read his books. And that's all. Three sentences. Um, okay. Um, I like draw or paint. Okay. All right. Just remember, Cody, when we say like, I like to. Siempre que poner el to. I like to read. I like to draw. I like to watch series. I like to go out with my friends. Siempre jugamos ese to. Cuando ocupemos like, to, love, to, etc. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Kaori. Karina, tell me what do you do for your birthday? For my, my birthday, I usually spend time with my family. Also, I visit my grandmother because my cousin has a birthday in the same day. Um, I usually, no, I cut a cake and I, a chocolate cake. And I usually go to, the, go to a new place with my family. For example, in my last birthday, I remember I went to La Cuadra restaurant in Chalatenango and I enjoyed this moment because I love the view in the in that place. Okay, amazing. Very good job, Karina. Thank you. Gonzalo, tell me what do you do for Christmas? Okay, for Christmas. Nothing special, but um, my family and I eat meat and watch movies. That's all? Yeah. You don't visit the mall, you don't buy outfits, nothing. And okay. I don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Thank you, Gonzalo. Uh, Ronald, tell me what do you do on vacations? You're in mute, Ronald. Ah, oh, perdón. <laughs> no lo había notado. Okay. Repeat, That's please. Fine. What do you do on vacations? I visit... My family, I go to the beach. I play video, video games in my house. I share with my family today. Okay. Okay, excellent. Grecia, tell me, what do you do to improve your English? I practice my English once a day. I watch series in English with subtitles, 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 subtitles. Titles. I like to listen music in English. I sometimes read the, the English books. Um, I try to speak with other people in English. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Um, Carla Areli, tell me what do your classmates do during the class? They they watch um videos. Um I speak they speak they. Uh, mm -hmm. they speak they speak so speak they speak uh -huh. they speak um in practice um 
I I um they play uh ¿Cómo se dice juegos? Games. They play games. games. They play games. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Mr. Diego, tell me what does your best friend do during the weekend? Um, normally, I go to skate park with my friend on the weekend. Okay, but what does your best friend do? Ah, in the yeah, weekend. my best friend, my best yeah. friend. Tell me what, um, like, everything normally, he does. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, normally, he studies study English. Studies English. Study, study English. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? Um, he played some game plays video Acuérdese game. que esto es okay. aplicando el third person plays washes oh, yeah, cooks. Yes, yes. yes yes okay once again Diego tell me what does your best friend do during the weekend and he normally study English and studies he studies English and plays video games mm -hmm. and Dinner with your family. My family things. or his family? No, no, no. He, he family. His, his, his family. family. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? He listens music. Listens to music. Listen to music. Okay, listen to music. Okay. That's it? Yes. Let's reinforce the third person, Diego, porque ese criterio eh, para pasar o no pasar al basic three, lo de la December. third person. Eh, sí, es en December. Uh -huh. Yes, tell me, Diego. No, no, de que, de, de que eso fue la conclusión del inicio, porque lo había entendido como que era sobre mí la pregunta, pues, pero no, si era sobre la tercera persona. Ok, ok, pero... very good. Carolina, tell me what does the president do on a regular day? Uh, he signs documents, he has meetings, he goes out to the lunch, he directs his employees. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Let me stop sharing. And I want to explain something to you. Van a ver dos criterios eh, súper, súper importantes para determinar si usted pasa o no pasa al Basic 3. Number one es que la grammar del Simple Present se maneje correctamente, ¿ok? Y con eso quiero hacer énfasis con ser person, porque se nos está olvidando mucho como esto de la S. Decimos he study, he play, he go, yes So remember, remember that that is crucial. Eso no es negociable de que si no lo sabe, ay, le voy a hacer el favor. No, es muy importante porque no podemos ir cargando como con esa, esa cuestión al Basic 3. Y lo otro que es el Present Continuous. No me preocupa el Present Continuous porque creo que lo han manejado bastante bien. Así que sí les pediría que en este caso, please, um, let's try today and tomorrow during the day to reinforce this part. Uh, now we have <coughs> the second section of questions, que son las how often questions. Uh, these ones are here, section three. For this one, I'm just going to give you like five minutes, porque esas preguntas son super, super easy, okay? So I'm going to put you again in practice rooms. Si a usted se le ocurre alguna otra how often question que usted considere que sea pues bueno, o que le parezca preguntarlo, that's okay. Usted puede hacerlo, you can do it, but let's all practice the questions, please. Um, any questions before we go? No questions? Okay, very good. So let's open the invites, please. Y vamos ahorita con las how often questions.
teacher me puede mandar para alguna sala en la que estaba, no estaba hablando nadie. Let me see, está en el 4. Let me put you in number 6. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ok. No, no me está bien. Permítame, quiero. Karina, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ah. O entonces a Carla. No sé quién me va. Y ella me pregunta a mí. Ok, ok, ok. Carla, ¿cómo often do you order delivery food? I. Normally, one month. Okay. And how often do you eat junk food? I usually cook two tons a, a week. Twice, twice a week. Twice a week. Uh -huh. twice. Okay. And how often do you drink coffee? I always drink uh, in a, re a breakfast. Okay. Um, How often do you travel? I never travel. Okay, and how often do you visit your family? I always visit to every week weekend. Okay, and how often do you eat vegetable? I always I always I always cook in with vegetables in come with vegetables with vegetable and um, a lunch así sería for lunch um, for lunch Ah, for lunch, perdón, lunch. lunch. Yeah. For lunch. Okay. And how often do you go? Always drink coffee in the morning. Yo no um, respondí la segunda. Okay. Ah, um, Fatima, how often do you eat junk food? Pues um, I rarely eat junk food. Young food, and I I eat healthy. And Thelma, how often do you drink coffee? Uh, ya la respondí. Okay. Uh, la otra muchacha no sé quién era. Um, Tenma, how often do you drink coffee? 
I I always drink coffee in the morning. I at six a.m. or nine a.m. I always drink coffee. What about you? How often do you drink coffee? Um. <coughs> ¿A quién le preguntó? A la que me estaba preguntando. Okay. I often drink coffee every day and because I like How often do you drink coffee, Fatima? I drink coffee one cup a day. One cup every day. Okay. And tell me, how often do you travel? You travel? I never travel. I I like always stay into my house. <laughs> I, I sometimes uh, go out, but it's I don't I don't say that it's a travel. I I go to the Chalate or town, but it, but it's no tra no not is travel. And what about you? How often do you do you travel? Ah, la que me preguntó era no sé cómo se llama, no me olvido. Okay, guys. So let's start with um, Ronald. Ronald, tell me how often do you order delivery food? I never order delivery food. Okay, very good. Karina, how often do you eat junk food? I eat junk food twice a month. Okay. Grecia, how often do you drink coffee? I never drink coffee. Okay. Ingrid, how often do you travel? I I travel every day, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Kaori, tell me how often do you visit your family? I only twice at church. Uh, because I visit, they, I visit my I family. Visit. I visit my family twice a uh, year because they live far away. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, Carolina, uh, how often do you eat vegetables? Carolina Veralí? Eh, sí, perdón, teacher, se me bloqueó el micrófono. That's okay. How often do you eat vegetables? I frequently eat vegetables. Okay, very good. Gonzalo, how often do you go to the dentist? I go to the dentist twice a um, year. Twice a year, very good. René, how often do you ride a bicycle? 
Getting mute, Rene. I can't hear you. Can you hear him, guys? No. No. All right. No. I we can't hear, hear you, my friend. No, I don't know what happened. Uh, let me see somebody else. Ahora oh, I see. I see. Thank you. Rene, how often do you ride a bicycle? I rarely ride a bicycle. Okay. Uh, Yolanda, how often do you read books? How often do you read books? Uh, I always read books. Very good. Uh, Thelma, how often do you eat popcorn? Popcorn? Yeah, popcorn. Palomitas? I, I never eat popcorn. Okay, okay. Uh, Diego, how often do you go to the beach? Um, I go to the beach two times a month. Twice, twice a month. Twice, twice a month. Yes. Okay. Month. Okay. Jefferson, how often do you drink Coca Cola? Uh, I usually uh, drink Coca Cola. Very good. Jose Daniel, tell me how often do you eat pizza? Uh, usually I eat pizza once a month. Once a month. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. And now we're going to the last section of questions, which are just five questions and are the present continuous questions. Last section of questions. Sí, quiero una consulta. Tell me. Para esta sección, ¿siempre serían cinco respuestas? Like three. Una? Just two or three. Okay. Gracias. Yeah, because you, you certainly don't know what the other person is doing. So, yeah, you can just give two, three sentences. Por eso son poquitas y por eso es cortito el tiempo, because it's very, very short. Okay, so thank you guys. I'm gonna put you once again in practice rooms. Please accept the invite. Vamos con lo último del present continuous. Les comienzo preguntando a René y de ahí René a Diego, de ahí Diego a Fátima y Fátima a mí. 
I think he's um <laughs> uh, working <laughs> working in your house or his house his house his house his yeah. house in his house and O teacher para decir también es also. Also, yes, also. also. Yeah. Also, uh, he's um, cooking dinner with your family. His family. His, His family. family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that's it. And quién seguía, perdón. Diego. Sí, Diego. Okay. Yes. Diego, what what do you do think the president is doing at this moment? Mm -hmm. uh, probably probably works from home. He is working from home. He is working. Yeah. Por eso que el present continuous es el verbo to be y el verbo en ing. The president is working, the president oh, is yes, eating. Yes. 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 So, yes. yes. He is working from your home and he is. Solo que acuérdese el verbo to be. Para third person, ¿cuál usamos? He is. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is traveling mm -hmm. in the um, United States. Okay. I, uh, he is vis visit, as if vis visit a su familia, ¿cómo sería? He or she is visiting. If visiting, visiting for her is, family. He is visiting. Is your family. Okay. Solamente. Okay, ahora, ahora pregúntele a nuestro compañero. La segunda o la, o la primera. La segunda, porque la primera ya la... Ya la respondió. Ajá. What is your son doing right now? And, uh, well, I don't have son or daughter. Okay. Uh, Karina, what is your son doing right now? My son is playing with her cats, with his cats, sorry. <laughs> okay, Arely, ¿verdad? Sí. What is your daughter doing right now? He, she is um, watching in TV. Okay. Eh, Gonzalo, Gonzalo, eh, ¿verdad? Sí. Gonzalo, what are your classmates doing as you speak? Well, I think they are paying attention. Mm. Karina, what are your classmates doing as you speak? Um, my classmates are speaking with her with them group. 
with uh -huh. their group. Their group. Their group. Their exactly. Group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ahora explain explaining the activity and take notes of my classmates and me. That's all. Yes. Bye. Te pregunto yo ahora. Eh, what do you think the president is?
Okay, guys. Uh, let me see. Ingrid, tell me what is your daughter or son doing in this moment? He's playing, teacher. He's playing. Okay, very good. Karina, what is your best friend doing in this moment? What do you think your best friend is doing? I think my best friend is working right now. Okay. Very good. Carolina, what do you think uh, your favorite singer is doing right now? My favorite singer? Uh, maybe she is uh, in a concert. Okay. She's singing in a concert. Mm -hmm. Very She's good. Singing. Very good, Caro. Uh, Grecia, tell me what is your best friend doing in this moment? My best friend is working right now. Okay. Kaori, what is your mom or your dad? Or I know sister or brother doing right now. My uh, brother is doing his homework. Okay, very good. Gonzalo, what is the president doing in this moment? I think he's taking a shower in his bath or he's doing exercise okay very good Rene tell me what is what is your nephew doing right now El que andaba ahí. <laughs> I can't hear you I don't know what happened with your microphone Rene <laughs> okay my nephew is watching the videos um, and descansar. Resting. resting, resting. He's resting right now. <laughs> okay, okay, excellent, Rene. Very good, very good. Let me see, Diego. What is your? What do you think your favorite uh singer is on in this moment? My favorite singer, cantante. Um, my favorite singer right now is on this moment is Ross. Is what I'm sorry? Ross. Uh, Ross. R U S S. Ross. Casi nadie lo conoce, pero uh, hip hop en inglés, buenísimo. No, but my question is, what is he doing? He doing. Yeah, what ah. is he doing in this moment? Okay, and she's probably make a song. He's making, making, making a song. Making a song, making a song. Okay, Ross. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Diego. Uh, Tati, okay. tell me what is I don't know your mom, your dad, sister, brother doing right now. One member of your family. Uh, my sister working at the moment is my sister is working at the moment and my sister is working at the moment okay okay excellent Tati very good very good guys thank you very nice practice uh, remember that tomorrow we start evaluations all right we start at 4 p.m we will finish at 6 me va a dar pues mucho más tiempo de de poderlos evaluar a todos. Ya algunas personas me pidieron pasar mañana por diferentes cuestiones, so that's okay. Uh, you can pass tomorrow, but please I'm going to ask you to continue like practicing. Le voy a dejar diferentes actividades in, in the breakout rooms. Y solo recordemos dos cositas bien importantes porque algunos errorcitos que estaba escuchando con present continuous era de que me dicen my mom watching TV. Por ejemplo, entonces el is, my mom is watching TV. My sister is walk in the park, el ING. Be careful with that, be careful with that because that is like a very important part of the present continuous. Y también reforcemos lo del simple present, 
actriz, la tercera persona más que todo, que es lo que nos, como que nos da guerra mucho, tengámoslo en cuenta. Yo sé que a veces se nos olvida, pero mañana es crucial que no se nos olvide, please. Do you have any questions, guys, before we go? Teacher, uh, yes. I have a question. I Tell me. don't know what is the homework because I don't have partner. Uh, oh, es que usted no se unió el viernes, ¿verdad? No. no es que, no. mire, el viernes, me pas el viernes fue un día que yo les contaba a los chicos que me llovió sobre mojado, pasaron tantas cosas. Entonces, para recompensarles como lo, lo de la clase, eh, les dejé un diálogo y ese diálogo iba a tener una compensación de un punto extra para esta evaluación oral. Entonces, creo que hay unas personas que no tienen pareja, ¿verdad? Kaori es una, me acuerdo que había otra. No sé si está acá. O no. ¿No? Todos tienen pareja. Tengo unas personas que todavía no, no me salen con, con ese extra point. El MC Natalia de Los Ángeles. Ah, sí, Natalie era la otra, ya me acordé. Natalie está aquí. Natalie, I don't see Natalie. Yeah, I think she's gone. Lo que haga Kaori, si gusta, le puede escribir a Natalie o oh, la otra persona que tengo acá es Jefferson. Jefferson, are you here? Yes, teacher. Aquí está. Entonces vaya, Kaori haga pareja con Jefferson. Eh, el tema era de los imperatives. Voy a hacer un diálogo con los imperatives. Le voy a mandar la presentación al, al group para que tenga una idea de, de cómo, cómo hacerlo de los imperatives. Y lo presentan mañana junto con, creo que me faltó todavía, Gonza y Fátima, ¿verdad? Ah, pues lo presentan mañana para que te hagas ese puntito, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, very good. Any other questions, guys? No more questions? I have a question. Tell me, Yolanda. Eh, hasta mañana tenemos que tener completas todas las unidades, que son hasta las 5. ¿Qué día es mañana? Miércoles, no, Thursday, el jueves, jueves antes de la clase, pero okay. antes de la clase, eso sí. sí, sí. Ok, sí, gracias. Ok, thank you. Any other questions, guys? No questions. Carla, Diego? No questions. No, ok. No. Well, guys, thank you so very much for joining. I will see you tomorrow. Y cualquier cosita me puede escribir. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye.